Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel and happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to every mom out there, every guardian, everybody who is taking care of another loved one. Make sure that you give your guardian, your mother, whoever a hug and a kiss and tell them how much you appreciate them. I am currently with my family because today is not actually Mother's Day right now, <laughs> but I wanted to let you guys know that because of Mother's Day, I am not going to be filming that day. So there won't be a video on Monday. I'm taking the day off to spend with my family as I hope everybody else is doing the same. And I will be back to regular scheduling, I think on Tuesday. So no video on Monday, but there will be on Tuesday. But anywho, let's go ahead and get into what we're actually going to be talking about today. And it is a product from ColourPop. These, when I saw them, I was like, Oh, I'm getting those because they're so gorgeous. This is the Party Talk Super Shock Extreme six piece pressed pigment set. So these only come in a set $30 and you are getting six of them. So you open up this little box right here and you, there's a mirror and everything. And then the six shades right there. There. On the ColourPop website, it says we couldn't celebrate our fifth birthday without throwing a party. Our newest Super Shock formula is a party in a pot. Introducing Super Shock Extremes. We started with our original Super Shock formula, mixed it with every pearl and pigment in our lab, then injected it with multi-dimensional glitters. The result? Marbled tie-dye extra-dimensional magic. Each shade is handmade and hand-pressed, so no two shades are alike. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys these swatches. I'm also going to show you like a little clip of them up close so you guys can see what they look like. First, we have Party Party that's described as a vibrant hot pink with purple sparkles and copper multi-dimensional glitter. Then we have Party Clip. Cloudy, a warm yellow with blue sparkle and yellow glitter. Can't party wait, baby pink with multi-dimensional sparkle and orange glitter. Sorry for partying. <laughs> Blackened teal with blue sparkle and blue glitter. Party plan, warm taupe with multi-dimensional copper and gold glitter. Party shop, it's a warm pink with blue sparkle and yellow glitter. I looked, but I couldn't see if this was going to be limited edition, like the set is limited edition, or if they are eventually going to separate them and make it to where you can buy them individually. I'm hoping that at the very least, they make more colors and make this a permanent formula in their collection because these are stunning. But anywho, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this little eye look here, and then I'll give you guys my to start off the look, I want to have a transition shade laid down first. So I'm taking a Smith 235 in the shade Arena, and I'm just going back and forth right above the crease to create a nice transition color. Then I am going to dip into my very first pigment, and that is Party Plan. I'm taking that on a MAC 221, and I'm going directly into the crease and then pushing it up slightly. Do you guys see the beautiful little specks of glitter in this? Oh, it's so pretty, and it blends out really, really well while still keeping some of the glitter intact. I just love this.
Now for my favorite part, I'm gonna go in with the Blender Pro from Sonia G and the yellow shade Party Cloudy. I'm tapping that all over the lid, making sure I get good coverage, and then what's left on my brush, I'm kind of tilting my head back a little bit and pressing the glitter up above into the crease transition area just so that it's nice and seamless and it's not too harsh of a line, but I don't want too much glitter up there either. Then to highlight my brow arch, I'm going in with a MAC 242 and MAC Nylon. I thought this would be the perfect highlight shade. And then I'm gonna dust away some of my bake and we're gonna use a MAC 219 and I'm picking up Party Plan again and I am just taking that and running it right along the lower lash line. And then lastly, for the inner corner, I'm taking Camp Party Weight on a MAC 219. I'm kind of pressing that in and then kind of blending it out as well because I don't want it to be too harsh, but I want the pigment to still be there. And I'm taking just a little bit along the lower lash line right at the front. And then to finish off the look, I used Kiss Ritzy Lashes and Milk Boss Liner on the top inner rim. Now for my thoughts on these pigments, and I meant to tell you guys this earlier and I forgot, but these are pigments. They are not technically intended for eye use, and it even says that on the back of the box here. It says, not intended for use in the eye area. So that's because glitter can get in your eye, you can cut your eye, and it can be a big deal. So you kinda have to do this at your own risk. I did get glitter in my eye. It wasn't a big deal. I was able to just get it back off, but like with my finger, but you have to know that that is something that is a risk. But for my thoughts on the pigments in of themselves, I think they're stunning. I love the fact that I was able to put that yellow on with just a brush. I didn't even have to use my finger and it adhered so well. And then that brownish shade, it has, it's not as chunky of a glitter as the yellow, I use that on a 221 fluffy brush and it still went into the crease. I just think that is amazing. My favorite two are definitely the yellow and the one I put on my inner corner, which is Can't Party Wait. These two are just my favorite. I absolutely love them. But if I was going to do something that was maybe more on the natural side, but I want a little bit of fun to it, the one that I just talked about, Party Plan, this is stunning. I'm just really impressed with this formula. I also have to tell you one other thing though. The darker shades, like the pinks, they do stain. They stain a little bit. I was playing with them last night and I will show you my daughter's arm <laughs> after I swatched them. They stain a little bit, but after like one or two washes, it did go away. I didn't have any problems with that, but these are gorgeous. I think the price point is amazing. I think the quality is amazing. I hope that they keep these in the lineup because I would love to see a lime green, like a chartreuse. I everything. I want to see all the colors because these are really bomb. But anywho, you guys let me know what you think and I'll see you guys in my next video. Again, happy Mother's Day. Bye guys.